Hello, this is Layla from Radacad. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can use uh, a function of DAX table uh, to create a structure table inside Power BI Desktop. In this video, we are going to see that how we can create a uh, actually a Power BI table that we can generate the column name and the data inside that even with a custom column so to do that I'm going to create a new table so uh, going to create a new table and table and here we are going to use the function data table. So this function gets the name of the table, name of the each column, the type and the proper data. For example, I'm going to the next, uh, actually uh, next line and I'm going to put the first name as a first column name and I put the type to be string and now so after i define that i'm able to put the proper data for that so i'm going to add for example leila of course in the quotation and close the bracket so this is a very simple of way of creating the table so i use the function tape data table i put the uh, name for the actually uh, for the column and the type of that and then the data that i need so just put it in so as you can see it's create a just a single column for me with a, a data that is Layla. So now in the next exercise, I'm going to add two people. So I'm going to actually add second row to that. To add a second row is actually very easy. So it's the same column. So I don't need to add the same column. So I put uh, the name over here. Uh, just be careful about the quotation again and it's become as easy as that so now if you can see the result is actually it needs to add the first the second row for me over here so uh, this is the thing so we also able to add the column here so let's see that how we can add a, the, another column over here to add another column i add the name of the column that is last name and of course is a string so if i just stop over here and i don't add anything i get an error message that's telling me that this actually it needs to have a does not have the ex, uh, expected number of the column because i need to add the data for that so to add the column for that i'm going to uh, actually in the each row i'm going to put the a value for the second column so uh, here and here so now if you see it should be reserved so now i'm going to actually i have two column over here as you can see uh, first name and last name and then i am i'm going to add some other things over here so for example if i add same name someone and I can put blank for that so I don't have any num any family name for that and I'm going to add another person as unknown for example this is uh, for the time that actually you are not sure about what data you will be have So as you can see the result, so uh, I add two other column, one is uh, just a name and it doesn't have any family name or the blank. So both of them is actually in this scenario, they retain the same value. So now I'm going to actually uh, add another one. I want to see that how it's work with a uh, time. So I'm going to add an, another column. I call it, for example, time and the data type is 
um, is date time and of course I need to add that one to the each row so for example for uh, one of them I put zero for another one I put nothing for this one I put a year like 2020 uh, 0201 and for the other one I'll actually I put 2022 some date so let's see that what's the result so I'm at a third column so I should see a third column over here so as you can see the third column already add over here so the for the first one I mentioned that it is zero that means that I didn't put any value so it's put the lowest date that it has that is 1899 so that can be sometimes very wrong so it's better that we st specify that when I put null value for this one you can see it's just put a null for me and for the rest is actually put that one and because it's a time and I didn't set the time so for all of them the time is 12 a.m. so that's actually how it kind of work let's see that how we can add the expression so here is a very constant column that we have over here so imagine that I'm going to add a, uh, another column that this column has calculated from the other for example the concatenation of the first name and last name as a full name so what I'm going to do I'm going to add a column to this table so this is a table that I have so this is my whole table I'm going to add a column to that so I use a function here so I'm just going to the, na the next one so just add it here and I'm going to uh, add column so on the add column is actually um, we are going to add a column to the table so the first value of the add column is table and then the name of the column and the expression for that one so this is my table so this is the one that I have as a table so till here and then I'm going to add a name for that so I'm going to add to this table something named full name that's my second value and uh, that is the expression so here I mentioned the table so this is all of my table the name I put that is full name now I'm going to write a expression that is the concatenation of the full name and last name so I'm going to says to um, start to write last name which should shows me over here so now i'm going to close the bracket just move it here so it's become much more readable so this is the one that i have and so this is actually a full name that is the concatenation of the first name and last name so as you can see so we can add any expression that we want over here so just you need to use the function add column so for the add column as you can see here, over here you need a table so this is my table you need a name for the added column and you need a expression i hope that you enjoy this um, this video and uh, you kind of create some more custom column in your decks. Thanks so much for watching this.